The universe is a vast place whose extent we're still unsure of, and it still holds many surprises. Researchers are constantly finding new amazing phenomena and peculiarities in a space filled with otherwise mysterious nothingness. In a way, this nothingness accounts for more than anything else, filling the spaces between visible celestial bodies and, according to the latest findings in quantum physics, it could be the primordial mother of all matter. Nevertheless, nothingness and empty space of gigantic proportions still puzzle scientists. Before we move on in this video to an apparition that astounds scientists, we would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. This way, you won't miss any of our new videos in the future. At the end, if you liked the video, we would greatly appreciate a like. Botis Void, the Big Nothing This mysterious void, which scientists still can't fully explain, as far as how it was formed and why it has dimensions unusual even for our vast universe, is located in the constellation of the Bear Keeper. Because we see many outlying stars from Earth, we cannot see with the naked eye what is fascinating but also sinister about this constellation. It's a region with the incredible diameter of 330 million light years that tears a gaping hole in the middle of space. Significantly, this massive gap in the cosmos bears the name Botis Void. The Botis Void is far from being the only fantastic empty space in the middle of a universe, otherwise full of phenomena such as galaxies, stars, black holes, colorful nebulae, or planets. Nevertheless, the structure with the incredible dimensions of 330 million light years is one of the largest and most mysterious. Because of its truly unusual size, the nothingness in the Bear's Keeper is also classified as a supervoid. There are smaller strange voids. One, for example, is the mini-void Barnard 68. Comparatively tiny, at only 0.25 light years across, this dark cloud is found just 500 light years away in the constellation of the Serpent Bearer. Discovery of the Botus Supervoid Researchers first found the phenomenon of mysterious voids in the cosmos in the 1980s. At that time, a team of researchers from the University of Michigan in the U.S. developed a method of creating a 3D model of the cosmos. The researchers, led by astronomer Robert Kirchner, used redshift to determine distances and speeds of motion in space. The farther a galaxy is from Earth, the faster it moves. This fact can be explained quite simply by the expansion of the universe. When, in the course of the calculations, a mysterious nothing began to grow at a distance, of about 700 million light years, the researchers initially believed it was a mistake in their data. Galaxies swarmed, except in these locales, where there was simply nothing. Some researchers even dared to claim that this must be the end of the universe. But they were wrong. At a distance of only 700 million light years, the void was by no means at the boundary of the previously known universe, but in fact, the middle of it only 60 galaxies in the Botas Void. After the discovery of the largest void ever discovered in space, many researchers around the world set out to study this phenomenon in depth. In the process, it turned out that the Great Void is not quite as empty as was first thought. Soon, thanks to the latest telescopes, researchers were able to meticulously scan the Botus Void, and to their great astonishment, they found galaxies. The really strange thing about these galaxies is that they are almost alone in a dark void, where galaxies elsewhere in space tend to cluster together or are in close proximity to each other when viewed in cosmic dimensions. In the course of the past decades, researchers have determined the existence of almost 60 galaxies in that enormous space in which at least 2,000 galaxies should be found, by average estimates. The existence of individual galaxies in a large nothingness raised further questions. Why do certain galaxies stay in a space in which there's nothing else? Why are other galaxies not drawn into the void? And what is the void anyway? Voids, black holes, and dark matter. 
About 80% of the observable universe consists of voids, distances between stars and galaxies, and areas where there is nothing or hardly anything, as a void between galaxies and stars. Nothingness is normal and distributed with some regularity throughout space. However, as a super assemblage, as in the case of the Botus void, this nothingness is a highly unusual phenomenon. What we call black or dark or the void is actually a type of matter. Dark matter is transparent and does not emit visible light. It can be detected only by its gravitational force and density. The darkness or the nothingness forms the primal matrix of the universe. In voids, this transparent matter occurs differently condensed. Black matter acts with particularly attractive gravitational forces where it's strongly compressed. Black holes, which have an immense and devouring attraction, probably consist of extremely compressed black matter. However, this assumption has not yet been proven, since no one has ever been able to look directly into a black hole. How do supervoids form? The secret of the formation of spaces with an unbelievable volume of nothing or dark matter probably lies in the origin of our universe. Researchers often speak in this context of a primordial soup, in which first molecules swam around, barely condensed. Due to coincidental quantum fluctuations, there were initial disruptions in this primeval matter. Over a period of millions of years, smaller lumps organized themselves, forms and patterns formed. Eventually, the first stars, planets, and entire galaxies emerged, and apparently, empty spaces remain. How the shaping and grouping took place, researchers can only approximately understand with model calculations and theories. Today, astronomers and cosmologists all over the world assume that all galaxies of the universe are grouped in a net-like pattern, and that a kind of background matrix determines where galaxies are located and how they move. The cosmic filament is somewhat reminiscent of a mushroom web as it runs through the Earth. Galaxies, stars, and planets hang in the universe as though suspended on long threads or group themselves along such filament lines. Where many filaments meet, clusters of galaxies are formed. A stunning example of such a place is the largest currently known material structure in the cosmos. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall provides an impressive demonstration of how galaxies form along spiral filaments in space. Yet this structure is tiny compared to the Botus supervoid. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall is only 10 million light years across, while the Botus supervoid measures more than 300,000 million light years. As in heaven, so on Earth. The phenomenon of a void appearing in the middle of a rich galactic environment is also found on Earth. Anyone who has ever dived or snorkeled or looked at an ordinary meadow has certainly observed empty spots in the rich underwater life or in the midst of the grass. As though wrought by a magic wand, nothing seems to be sentient in these places or else living beings avoid them completely. On Earth, we can explain this with differences in rock layers, mineral composition of the Earth, variations in water temperatures, and other effects. In the total cosmos, quite similar forces are at work. In space too, there are currents, temperature differences, something like a climate, and cosmic habitats that support life or, in this case, the flourishing of galaxies and others that are more inanimate. Since researchers suspect that dark matter is the origin of all visible phenomena and is filled with a great deal of information, there is, after all, not just nothing in the nothingness of the Botus structure. Up to this point, we have not completely understood this kind of matter or counter world. It seems the researchers in 100 years want to reserve something to do. The Void Supercluster It is also exciting that the Botus Void is not a large coherent nothing, but rather several small voids seem to have come together at this location. So, we are dealing with a void supercluster in this fascinating phenomenon. Researchers have found that dark matter is less condensed in small, not-so-massive galaxies while its density increases greatly in larger systems like galaxy clusters. The Botus Void shows structures of more or less dense dark matter. Where the dark matter is denser, its gravitational pull is also greater, and it's in these places that one or two galaxies are found in the otherwise lone void. 
Has the void been present since the Big Bang? Cosmologists have derived a theory which says that the basic network of the universe already existed immediately after the Big Bang. Today, the universe is essentially still expanding along these primordial lines and patterns that were established in the beginning. The Botus Void could have been a much smaller spot of nothingness after the Big Bang according to the doctrines of fluctuation and expansion. And then this small spot evolved into the 330 million light year dark spot over the course of more than 13 billion years. The differences in structures, the many unique phenomena and peculiarities in space show that the Big Bang and the first structures in space were not a homogeneous event, but much more chaotic. According to this theory, if the origin had been linear and homogeneous, we would still have a homogeneous appearance of the universe today. Galaxies, stars, planets, and other cosmic objects would be arranged in a uniformly and in recurring as well as predictable patterns. Even if researchers would like to calculate the whole miraculousness of the universe and pack it into formulas, we must admit in conclusion that the supervoid in the constellation Botus is simply a fascinating whim of our wonderful cosmic surroundings. Now it's your turn. Tell us what you think about the supervoid and other fantastic phenomena in space. Do you think scientists will one day be able to explain them all? Or will space keep surprising us with its mysteries? We look forward to your contributions and a lively discussion on the topic in the comments.